Um, there are a number of challenges that uh, surround the education sector in Zambia. Uh, one of the challenges is that uh, uh, there are a number of um, uh, schools that need to be put up in Zambia, uh, especially in the rural areas where there is a, a shortage of schools because you have to walk a distance, a number of distances for you to get to the next school. And that is a big problem for especially children in certain villages. They cannot afford walking long distance, long distances of maybe a two, five, ten kilometers to the next school, which is a um, disadvantage in the country again. Because if you have more children remaining at home without going to school, then the country is not moving forward. Once the schools are built, we need more trained teachers. We have currently a shortage of teachers we need to develop as a country. We need schools in order for us to develop. We need teachers. Let's also take into consideration the number of pupils in a classroom. Currently, we have one classroom uh, maybe with the about 6 to 70 pupils per teacher, which is not a healthy situation. We need more classes for children to be accommodated in these classes, and we need also more teachers to actually take care of this uh, uh, increasing number of children, and also to increase the salaries for teachers because it's a motivating factor. If we have a demotivated uh, crop of teachers, then even the education uh, delivery, the quality of education is affected. As an organization, Youth Association of Zambia, which is supplementing government effort, we thought of uh, the best way of helping the communities and we do not dictate to communities what to do. The communities, through the needs assessment that we do, carry out, the communities come up with their own needs of what they would like to see their community to look like. Uh, since, 19, uh, since 2004, we have been uh, coming here in full to help the community come up with this school. And we started from nowhere. This was just a bush. We cleared the bush. We started the foundation and everything. We have been building this school, contributing to this school almost every year. We come with different volunteers from all over the world who come to help us. And we also fundraise as an organization so that we can contribute in terms of materials. And right now, we have uh, two uh, classroom uh, block and an office space for the teacher and uh, children are now able to come to this school. Uh, currently the school has got about 262 children who are actually come to this school and they are for uh, segments. Others come in the morning, others come in the afternoon so that all the children can be accommodated. We are now modding bricks for the construction of teachers' houses because we believe that we cannot just build a school without teachers' houses. So we want to, the teachers to be motivated. Uh, we want to uh, build three uh, houses for the teachers so that they, they are accommodated so that they can also give quality education to the children in, in this chief of Kanya in Mbowe.